We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show, where our one rule is... All hail Zombasar. I am your host today, Bumpy McSquiggums, and we are returning to Disgaea 7 Vows of the Virtueless. And I'm excited. I'm eager. And I'm ready to dive back on in and do some stuff. Now, I was planning on grinding like a whole bunch more than I did. I did run through it a few times. I leveled some stuff up. I added another person because we didn't have one. I figured it was a good idea. And that other person is Tamlin. It's our cleric, our healer. So we'll add in like the female warrior. We'll add in the male puncher. We'll add in the male spellcaster. We'll add in the female, or sorry, the male uh, healer and so on and so forth. But right now, this is the squad that we're running with. Um, four, two, three, three, two, two, four, and three. Bumpy McPerny, you guys know, he, he guns to be a star. Um, so, uh, there's no shop, cheat shop uh, available yet, so I was not able to, like, up the difficulty. And we really only have a very limited choice of uh, places to go and do battle. So, I could have kept doing the battles very slowly and so on and so forth, but I felt like it's probably a good idea to get a little bit more unlocked before we really start any kind of grinding, even the low-level grinding. So... Let's uh, get a little bit deeper in, shall we? Uh, big shout out and thank you once again to NIS America for giving me up the code for this. It does truly mean a lot, and I am grateful. All right, dude, let's do it. It is a little bit later in the evening for me, so apologies uh, once again if I uh, sound a little bit more quiet. Uh, wife is sleeping above me in the room above, so I'm trying not to yell and scream and do too much, but I can do a little bit. Uh, clear within three turns, no units unable to fight. That means don't get anybody KO'd. Three or fewer units deployed. Okay. Throw two or more times. Total Geo Elimination. Oh, we're going to learn about the Geo Symbols. Cool. Let us set out. Wow. Udo Castle. I've been dreaming of this moment. Yes. Yes, you have. And you shall what continue a to dream. Magnificent castle. Hinamoto's culture may no longer be prevalent, but I still feel its strength. Well, good for you. This is all thanks to me. You're absolutely right. You've oh. guided us, fought for us. You've been such a big help. Sweet. There's no way we would have made it this far without you, Fuji. We're in your debt. Thank you so much. Sweet. Stop thanking me. Why is he coughing up blood? Eek. Uh, are you okay? What's with all that blood? Yeah, really. What's up? Don't get close to me. Don't be nice to me. And definitely don't thank me. I'm allergic to empathy. It's not really empathy. You're allergic to empathy? I've never heard of that. How does that work? Also, that wasn't really empathy. I'm a demon. It's not exactly weird. Ugh, friendship, love, and compassion skeeve me out. So don't ever thank me again. But you helped me. Of course I have to thank you for your kindness. Oh, no. <laughs> Thanks a billion. Oh, boy. Oh, didn't I just say I hate kindness? Are you doing that on purpose? Seems to be. Huh? But you're guiding us. What's not nice about that? Ulterior motives, eh? <sighs> You'll see soon enough. <sighs> hey, you've got visitors. Oh, he just recovered immediately from huh? popping up blood. Oh, that's this? cool. Look at all these people with weapons <laughs> heading straight for us. Sure, it'll be fine. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Oh. Oh, not even gonna. Oh, okay. Welcome to the world of GeoFX, pretties. Um, stages feature things called geo panels and geo symbols. These are known as GeoFX. Oh, there's a lot of info here. Geo panels are like boards stuck to the stage, each with their own color. On their own, they don't do anything. The geo symbols are the triangular 3D objects or pyramids. They contain all kinds of effects. They are also meaningless on their own. However, when these two forces combine, when a geo symbol is placed on a geo panel, 
The Geo symbol interacts with the Geo panel and affects the characters on the same colored Geo panel. So if you put a pyramid on a colored panel, everything on that colored panel is then influenced by the pyramid and so on and so forth. Like in our example up there, enemies are weakened 50%. So everybody on the purple pile would be weakened by 50%. Example, a Geo symbol that will weaken the enemy 50% when placed on a purple Geo panel would reduce enemy stats by 50% on the purple Geo panel. Take basically what I said. Hover over a Geo panel or open the general menu with the triangular button and press R3 to view active effects. Geo symbols can be moved by lifting and throwing. This affects both allies and enemies. So try to position allies to your advantage. Yep. That's not all the Geo effects do, however. Destroy Geo symbols to cause a color change. When a Geo symbol with an effect hits 0 HP, the Geo panel's color will change to match that of the Geo symbol. If they are the same color, no change occurs. Color changes radiate out from the destroyed Geo symbol and damages units in its path. Keep in mind that allies will also be affected. Yep. As for the Geo symbols, targets damaged by color changes are destroyed no matter what. Geo symbols can be destroyed by color changes if the color differs from the current color change. Another will occur after it finishes. So essentially what that means if you blow up, let's say you have in this situation here, say you had a... My brain's not working. Oh, we'll just see it in action. I, I, I can't explain it right now. My brain doesn't want to work. Geo symbols uh, undergo repeated color changes in this way are called geo change. Sorry, chains, excuse me. Uh, geo symbols can be clear or null. When those are destroyed, geo panels do not change color and are instead destroyed. All geo panels being destroyed is called complete destruction and deals damage to all enemies. Try aiming for these if you get the chance. All right, so essentially what's gonna happen here How do I make this work? So, so we have a null one here that needs to be destroyed last. So if we put the red one... My brain's just not working. I don't know, we'll figure it out. <sighs> I've, I've done so many things with geo symbols over the years and right now I, I can't think. So if we destroy this, all the red ones are going to be changed to purple. If we... So ideally you'd want to chain it, so like all these would be turned to purple. And then it would somehow break the red and then everything would change to red. Including the green, which would then be destroying the null, which would then just do everything that we need. But... Unfortunately, my brain's not working. So I don't know that I can figure out how to do that. Uh, sorry, folks. This, this is what happens. To super well, I don't know. I'm usually pretty on point right now. But like I said, it's been a while since I really played around with geo panels and geo symbols and all that stuff. So my brain's not working. How I can get them to chain? They theoretically would have to be on the same. I don't know. I'm just gonna go attack one. And see what happens. It's it's a bad plan. So if I hit this, it's just gonna turn this red. What does this do anyway? It weakens the enemy. Which, again, this doesn't help that it's red. But let's just hit it anyway and see what happens. Yeah, I okay, we learned Boulder Crush. Everything turned to red. Yeah. So what I would have probably have wanted to do would have been... Like with the three different color, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Oh, yes I do, I'm an idiot. Hold on, can, can we restart the level? I, I'm overthinking this, I'm making it way too complicated. Alright, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I know. I, I'm like, I'm like I, don't, I don't know how to, I don't know how to do this. We just, it, it's super simple. Probably. 
Fly! All right, so we do that. And then if I'm not wrong, we go and we pick up this. This is nothing. And then we throw here. And then we'll just take food. Sure no. about this? Or take Bumpy McPurney out. Yeah. And then we're gonna attack this and see what happens. When push comes to shove, dude. So let's turn everything pink, uh, purple. We'll turn everything red, and then it will also blow everything up. There we go. I was overthinking it. Let's put it all in the same color, and it's fine. And now everybody's almost dead, and we good to go. Uh, I gotta get you out of the way. So, essentially, putting them all on the green meant all effects were on the, the green stuff. So when I killed the purple, it turned... The thing it was on purple, plus this was already purple. This stayed red. Then when the next part happened, the next thing that blew up was red. It turned, this was red, turned this red, turned this red. The final thing that blew up was the clear or the null one, which then blew up everything and it damaged all the characters that were on the tiles. The panel wasn't on the tile and there was a spot here and there was a spot here that was not on the tile. So, yeah. All right. Let's dance. It's time to get Zombasaur out. Do we have a we don't have a special attack with him yet? All right. Hey. Oh, ooh, his mastery went up though. Good for him. I'll do my best. All right, we're going to hit him with some ice. This ice ain't nice. You don't have to be scared. We took care of it. I think uh, Perilica might... My coat of armchairs. Arm okay. I think we are... Yeah, I think she can handle that. Um, actually, let's get her to do this. Spiral blast. Oh, she can't. Come on. Never ye mind. All right, we're going to do that. And finally... I'm gonna do my worst. I'm gonna have Fuji come out and have Fuji lift and throw you and then have you attack and hope that we hit. There we go. Arrow. Attack. I don't think we get a counter attack off that. Nope, we don't. She very possibly may die. We'll see. Do I have anybody left? I don't. All right, let's end the turn and see what they got. Dude. Going after Zombasar? That's a mistake. Forgive me. Forgive me. Let's just headbutt him. Uh, to death. All right, so three or fewer units deployed. We didn't go that route. Uh, this happens every time you do it, so uh, you get the mission results. So if you say you reran this level and you did it again you still would need to do three or fewer units deployed and so on and so forth this is just your reward for every time you, you go and you do it so if you're looking for specific things other than just um, if you're looking to get all the rewards you should follow all the rules if you're looking to do stuff like gaining experience and just fighting through a level um, then you can ignore the rules and do whatever you want really Dear me, what horrid ruffians! Mm. I am quite uninterested in a tour of the local prison. That's fair. No matter. Fuji was splendid, so dependable, so magnificent! You really are a true warrior! True. Thanks. I'll help all I can, if you pay me. You just thanked her. Does that not bother you too? You're doing it for the money! Well, yeah, you know, guys gotta eat. <laughs> oh, goodness! You just thanked her, man. That didn't make you cough. Didn't you hear me? I'm allergic to empathy. It would literally kill me to be nice. Huh. <sighs> I'd sell my soul if it meant getting paid. Um, there's no need to go that far. 
You're right. You can't work for free. Okay. How much would it cost for you to keep helping us? Ten million. Hundred million? Well, it'd run you about um, a yeah. hundred million. How? A hundred million? A hundred million? I mean, you can afford it. You own another ship. Plus, you just resisted arrest. You're wanted all throughout Hinomoto now. But without me, you'll be caught in no time. Then they'll force you to commit seppuku. Seppuku? As in Harakiri? Yep, Harakiri. I don't want to do that. Seppuku. Uh, calm down. I've got a special offer for you. Okay. Watching only is one million hell. Encouragement costs ten million hell. And total support will run you a hundred million. So, what would be? Watching only, encouragement, isn't my only real option the total support plan? Yes. Yes, it is. Thought I heard something annoying. Uh. So all that squawking in front of the castle gate was... You guys! Oh, look at this dude. Armored Knight? He's finally here, huh? Yudo's very own guardian devil. Big Bull. The Protection Magistrate. So Big Bull? We're gonna fight him or no? No, okay. Ah, uh, we'll fight him in the next scene. All right, so yeah. All right, uh, Warriors Mockery. Let's get it. Uh, I should probably heal though. I don't need to. Like, I could probably just do it myself. But yeah, we'll run on down here and we'll do it. That's fine. Lost lambs. This is the hospital. Lost lambs is blessings us. be upon you. Wait, what? Lost lambs. This is the hospital. I have sworn I saw. Oh, oh, it's the highlight. Got it. Blessings be upon you. Blessings be upon you too. Where to, dude? What do you think, dude? We're going back to fight the guy in the armor, man, with the, the spiky hair. All right, let's do it. I hope I get to unlock the cheap chop soon. Out of my way. <laughs> uh huh. What is that? He's knocking down everything from buildings to pedestrians to get to us. Yeah, yeah. Bulls he's do that. Part of the thirteen demonic magistrates. Like his name says, he's head of security. He's got the best defenses in Hinomoto. Well. Wait. He's essentially the strongest security guard in all of Hinomoto. Strongest security guard. I like it. <laughs> you're brigands, aren't you? You seem pretty confident in your abilities, but you're powerless before my defenses. My body can repel a spaceship's laser cannon. You won't even scratch me. Yeah, I think mean, that's going to be a problem, probably. <laughs> Wait a second. What's the matter, girl? Surrendering before we even fight? No, that's not it. We don't want to fight in the first place. There you go. We just want to talk to the Shogun. We wish to bring Bushido back to Hinamoto. That's all. Ha 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 ha. You naive brat. Bushido is done. No one will listen to you. Wow. Living as a proud noble warrior never goes out of style. But the warriors were stripped of their ranks by the government. Their honor sullied, their plates broken. Now they've wound up in slums, taking orders from shogunate stooges for meager wages. Don't you feel anything when you look at their plight? Richer. I don't know. Yep, she is a brat, all right. Not wrong, Fuji. How absurd. It's the shogunate that's given work to those out of touch warriors. Got it? I'm not being absurd. If you won't change, then I'll simply change you myself! Oh? Fuji, I've made up my mind. I'll take your offer for total support! Sweet. That was easy. Oh? It's not cheap. You better not regret it later. I don't do refunds. I won't regret it. If you don't believe me, I'll give you this legendary weapon I borrowed from my home as a down payment! Oh? Wait, what? A legendary weapon, huh? All right, you've got yourself a deal. 
Okay, I mean, I'll take a legendary weapon. Alright, attack plus 50% on the yellow tiles. And then weaken enemy. Uh, uh, that's fine. I'm not particularly worried. Alright. You sure about this? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Alright, we guns to hit him with the secret slash. Relica. Coat of arm chairs again, huh? That's fine. You just hang out there. Alright. Other crew. My body is iron. Your body is iron. Your mind is less than iron. Oh, it's gonna take me forever to get used to this again. Die now. Again, th definitely the right way, but man. Playing two whole games with the wrong uh, button combination. Or, or the, the wrong distance. Movement? Movement of the cursor has been very, uh, very bad for me. Let us pray. Just goes to show you can get used to even the wrong stuff. I got this, dude. If you do it over time, um, you know what? I will still support these folks. And yes, I'm aware that I can throw and do stuff. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and zombies. All right, that's good enough. Let's execute. Can you handle this? She cannot handle it. <laughs> what a loser! All right, uh, let's end the turn. Let's see what they decide to do. Are they gonna roll? Oh, they are gonna roll out on us. Oh, my turn. Yeah. Are you? Uh... Who wants to die next? I'll say. I felt like you might have made a mistake there, but apparently no. All right, let's go ahead and toss that attack out on Lip Gloss. Yes! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, okay. All right. Um. Yeah, we can do the secret slash again. Why not? Can you handle this? I think you can handle it. Probably okay. You know what? Hold on. Three head zombie went. Oh. Well, that's fine, I guess. Yay! I feel like this is the first time I've ever played one of these games. I know it's not. I know I'm doing fine, but it still doesn't feel good. There we go. Special heal. Yeah. Be at peace. Be at peace. No pain, no gain. Some pain, the modicum of gain. All right, can we? Nope. Oh. All right, can I get you to at least face the right, the right way? So bad. I hate it. I hate it. All right. Oh, that would just auto target the closest yeah, thing. Dude. When push comes to shove, dude. When push comes to shove, dude. I'm gonna take you down. All right, dude. Let's go ahead and uh, ice this guy. Oh, that wasn't a lot of damage, huh? Must have been resistant. Let's see what we got. Ouch. Ouch. Die. Fever time. All right. Uh, there we go. Delta. You get them. Ooh, we got, we got our first skill with our boy. Guys, deltoids working, you know. Alright, let's go ahead and get our heal on to you, sir. That's fine. Uh, 
However, we can throw pernies. It's just a bad idea, but we can throw zombies and it's fine. Let's throw Zombasar into harm's way and see what happens. He says he's got this. Big heal from our girl. You're jacked! Hey! Big headbutt. Oh. We learned Espoir. Does that make sense? Yeah. That seems fine. Alright, so in the turn, let's see what they got. Zombasar live. Zombasar live. Yo! When push comes to shove, dude! Oh yeah, we 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 gonna let we gonna let Zombasar take this. Yo! There it is. Very nice. All right, 50 damage or higher, we didn't get that. 100 or more Geo Chains, wasn't looking for that. So, that's fine. Yeah. We got the, uh, the Iffy Yotsuna. Here you go, Yoshitsuna, Luigi. sorry. This is the legendary sword. Kanzan Musashi! Oh. Okay. Kanzan Musashi? That does sound impressive. This sword's one of the seven founding weapons. She's been running around with an infernal treasure in her bag? Surprise. Hey, this is no ordinary legendary sword. Wait, what? It's been missing for years. How did someone like you get it? It's no ordinary legendary sword. Just, who the hell are you, Perilica? Well, uh... Yes. <laughs> Whatever. This is a good enough down payment. Sweet. Oh, uh. Fuji, wait! Something strange is happening to the sword! What is going on? It's ringing? Answer it, man. This light. This is a sign that Fuji has been accepted oh. as the wielder of this infernal treasure. How do you know that, Pichan? Infernal treasures are weapons that house a soul. One must resonate with them to be chosen as their true wielder. Oh. oh okay. Fuji has been chosen? Good job, Perilica. Why do you have bells? So this is fate, oh. huh? <laughs> Fine by me. <laughs> Fine by me. I'll cut you all down! I'll cut you all down. Sweet. Exciting times. I, I kind of... All right, we're going to back out, but I, I think we're going to maybe push this episode a little longer. Nothing seems to have opened up yet. I'm just going to go heal some, some folks up. Also, probably should do you getting not a blunt blade, but... Wait, did you not actually get the sword? Well, that's interesting. All right, the Iffy Yoshitsuna. Even the weeding sickle's better than what we're using. Okay. Uh, do, do we... Do we have anything that's, like, impressive other than that? No, not really. Uh, like an extra power belt and a common orb, I guess. Uh, do I have the power belt? I don't think so. I do now, though. Alright, and then... We have the orb. I, I can just stay here and switch it that way. Alright, we'll give you an orb as well. Okay, let's get back into it. Uh... Lost lambs. This is the yep. hospital. May Thank God you. watch over you. Yep, 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 yep. Alright. Where to, dude? Wherever we want to, my friend. To the battle against the protection magistrate. Sounds like a plan to me. 
Good time will be had by all, except the protection of uh, Gunsan Musashi, the blade that can cut anything in half? Probably? Unbelievable! That legendary sword even cut the fortress Kudofune in two! Thanks for that nice little recap. Thank you. I don't know. I feel like you're just begging for a demonstration. Oh dear. Ha! A sword that can cut anything? My body's invincible! It's no threat to me! The only one who's ever wounded me is the most infamous sword master in all of Hinamoto. Higanze Shosai. Hmm. I've trained endlessly for the day. I can get revenge against this Shosai. I have no weak points. You, 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 you realize your armament is invulnerable. Your armor it's perfect. Stops at it's your nose. Right? Kanzan Musashi will bounce right off me. Damn, you're pretty confident, huh? Just looking at your smug face makes me want to cut you down. I'm on your side, man. I agree. Dude needs hey, a good guy. Hiroko? Hiroko? Do you mean me? If I cut down one of the 13 magistrates, the government's really gonna come for you. Are you ready for that? Um... Y yes of course I am! The Shogunate has lost its Bushido! They must be punished! Yep. The, sh the, sh the shotgun lost <laughs> its burrito. Like Let's get him. We're wanted criminals. So let's do our worst! I, I don't... Okay. Yep. Uh, again, it, it, like, the top of his head is not covered by armor. I don't understand. That's, it's fine. You've acquired the infernal treasure, Kanzen Musashi. With this, Fuji can now enter hell mode. Okay. Infernal treasure wielders like Fuji can use hell mode during battle to boost their stats for a certain number of turns. Additionally, some specials can only be used when hell mode is active. Sure. They're extremely powerful, but watch out. Hell mode may end abruptly. To activate hell mode, the hell gauge must be fully charged. Okay. Wait, what? Decreases defense bonus by 50%? Okay. Uh, charging conditions will vary per treasure. Check uh, the character's status to confirm. Fuji needs to defeat enemies to fill the gauge. Uh, wait, wait, where is this? Uh, damage dealt when attacking halves defense. Hell gauge buildup requires attack enemy. It, it says attack enemy, not defeat enemy. But all right. Uh, hell mode will either end after a set number of turns or when the mentioned special activates. Divine Kanzan. Le tronce la soixante mode lucifer sur le mante ignore bonus def. What? Yep. Fuji's hell gauge is maxed out now. Approach Big Bull, the protection magistrate. And select Hell Mode from the unit menu. Okay. I could probably do that. Uh huh. Oh. Uh. Okay. So where, where, where to, where does shiny thing be for this? Oh, behind him there. That won't actually do anything. Hmm. Okay. It's gonna be a long episode if we keep running with it. Uh. Yeah, it's fine. Let, let's do it. I'll cut you down. Oh yeah, he, he's got the the, the Yoshi sit the. Yoshitsu? What is it called again? Sorry. Uh, what do you have, equipment-wise? Yoshitsuna, that's what it is. Like the Yoshitsu? No, that's that's like a weird dog. That is not what we're after. Alright. Rilika. Yep. Let's eat a burrito. I like it. My body is Actually, you know what we're gonna do is this. Ah! I do like that. I don't have to necessarily drag them all out one at a time. Oh. 
Well, she she's struggling a little bit. And Boulder Crush is right in front. Yeah. Yep. I expected. Nope. Pretty dude. Nope. This is nothing. All right, let's throw her a little bit closer. She has defense, or sorry, he has defense, but I don't know if that works on spells. Apparently, yes, it does. Let's throw you a little bit less far. True. I don't know how this is going to work out exactly, but... Oh, it's going to work out great. All right. Let's end the turn there. Handle this? Nothing safe for me. <laughs> Seems like a, an unfortunate reality. Who doesn't want to die next? That's a real question. What? All right, I think if I lift and throw you... When did he get yeah, there? Yeah, I lived. Fly. All right. <laughs> oh, I didn't break the the chest. That's the whole reason I did this. Otherwise, I'd have just left it where it was, and it would have been fine. I really thought that would break the chest. Huh. Oh well. I just have, like, a, an uber-strong enemy. Zombasaur! Yeah, throw a Zombasaur there. See what happens. No escape. Oh my goodness. Oh, I think that probably hurt me a little bit. Zombasar no. Who wants to die next? Well they they did both survive. Um I don't have the best chance to hit him, but I'm not dying but I yet. accomplished it anyway. Okay, so they have to at least group up for the heal. Heals both. Be at peace. Double heal. Uh, so I was worried for a second. I'm like, I don't do zombies actually heal heal or. All right, we're gonna try throwing Mr. Bumpy up here. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna do some boulder crushing. Low chance to hit. Can we do it? Looks like we can. I'm not dying yet. You enjoyed uh, bouncing us all over the place. I have my own little bit of enjoyment there. Actually, be a little careful, Perilica. A little concerned that you may end up just getting murdered. Pretty dude! Alright, let's go ahead and end the turn and see what's up. It's show 
time. What I'd like to do is take out the the boost meter thing behind him. I, I feel like that's incredibly important for us to do. But first, before we do that, let's attack this. Deltoids. Deltoids. Yeah, Rubber glove toids. What? All right, uh, Perilica, could you please give us the heal? There we go. Execute. Kind of me. All right. We get the idea. Nope, that's all I want. Move to there, and go ahead and lift this him up. Nothing. Throw him, I guess, right there. I think I can hit him with the secret slash. Ouch. Can you handle this? Catch. Nothing safe from me. Oh, I figured out how he got hurt before. It was the explosions. Everybody got hit a little bit there. I didn't feel very good. Special heal the two of you. Be at peace. Be at peace. You are at peace. You can stay there. The zombies are coming on over. Alright, see so what happens. We're gonna enter our hell mode here in a second. So we get kind of rock slapped a little bit. Are we gonna die? That's gonna be a problem. I think we're gonna die. Damn it! That's bad. To die next. Uh. See, that wasn't supposed to happen. Huh. Well. I'm like, oh, he's getting hurt. Like, I was like, oh, the first hit? That, that was kind of bit. Oh, boy. I can't hurt this guy. That's a problem. <laughs> we might have to we might have to run it back. I may have uh, overreached a little bit. Can we do anything with magic? Doesn't look like it. Let's just try it. I know the whole point was to... Yeah. That's not good. Okay, we're gonna run it back to the point where I do all that stuff without getting myself murdered. One second. Okay, we're back to give this another shot. Let's uh, end the turn. See if Big Boss Man steps up. He doesn't, of course. All right, I think I'm gonna throw Zombasar over here. Get him to attack this thing. Blow it up. We all took a tiny bit of damage, nothing too strenuous. And now we gotta make sure that we can, uh, we can throw some people. Can I move with you too? Oh, I can move. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice little addition. Can I do my boulder crush up? Oh, yeah, I can. Get some gains, muscles. One down. Very, very good. Uh, let's do this again. Excuse me. Chimera, we guns to move. We guns to throw. As best I can. We guns to move. We guns to attack. Maybe we try the side attack. I mean, it should be a little bit better. Gosh. Probably not going to be enough to take you down, down, but. Oh, 
Well, you know, I can I can toss uh Oh my god. Alright. I can toss our, our girl over here. Or, uh, sorry, I can toss Fuji over here with our girl, Ava. And then I can either go for the big boss man, or I can go for the girl. I think I'm gonna go for the girl here. I think we're probably gonna end up having someone get got, but I think that's gonna be fine. Alright, I think my pretty's gonna step up. I'm gonna tell him, I'm ready, dude. See what you got, dude. Bring it on. Perilica. Oh. Oh. He's not a joke. That was horrifying. Let's not uh, experience that again. This ain't cheap. All right, we're going into hell mode, and okay, we can hit him. Now, what does the divine Enzin do? It will kill him in one shot. Say we try. See what happens. Demonic sword. Anzan Musashi! Prepare yourself! Anzan Musashi! Nice. Final cut! Such there it is. Power. Very, very cool. I'm okay with that. I'm definitely okay with that. Alright, let's see the ending of this one. Wow! Incredible! You popped big what's his name's armor open like you were hitting a watermelon! True. So this is how a legendary sword cuts. Huh. Not too shabby. Well, looks like I saved her bacon. We're not at the castle yet, but how about paying my fee now? Uh, that was a down payment, man. Right, that was impressive. Too bad you ruined it with your money grubbing. <laughs> Very well, good sir. Would you please sign here so that I may compensate you for your services? You want my signature? Uh, you don't need this scrap of paper to give me my money. This is a basic rule of business. I beg your understanding. Just sign here and you'll have your 100 million health. Fine, if it shuts you up. I feel like he's being tricked. There. Happy. Now pay me my fee in full. You should have read of the... Of course. Just like it says here, you'll be paid. Once Miss Perilica has achieved her goal. <laughs> uh, what are you talking about? Contractual agreement. Contractor, Fuji. One... Payment will be made upon achieving goal. Two, until then, contractor will obey orders. <laughs> nice. What? what the hell? You tricked me, you jerk! It's pretty good. My, my, whatever could you mean? I thought you fully understood the contract you were signing. It's fair. Don't raise those things! But what's that goal it's talking about anyway? It's fair. Thank you for your inquiry. The fact of the matter is, Miss Perilica is not simply here on holiday. Okay. She's here to collect the seven founding weapons, including this sword her father left her, and punish Demo Door Opener. Huh. Wait, what? Collecting the seven founding weapons? The hell? Uh, apparently she has one already. Uh, I'm sorry I tricked you. The only way to get to the Dimador is to collect all seven founding weapons. Since you've been chosen by the sword, meeting you was fate! <laughs> no doubt about it. Join me and help restore Bushido. <laughs> Stop that! Don't give me those big old puppy dog eyes. Uh. Worry not, Miss Perilica. Demons have always honored contracts. Fuji must help us, whether he likes it or not. Huh. Ugh. Who's the demon here? You got some nerve to use that against me. Guess I'll get my hundred million after I help her find them. Damn it! 
Well, I mean, still a hundred mil, man. <sighs> the seven founding weapons, huh? It'll be a pain, but for a hundred million, I'll do it. Wise move. Let's start with the Udo Castle. Shogun Yayasu lives there, and his staff is one of those weapons. Cool. Oh, perfect! But do you think he'll give us the staff if we ask for it? Yeah, no, probably not. I doubt it. We're gonna have to wrench it from his hands. Okay. You, you can't just go around fighting people. I'm sure the Shogun will understand my love for Hinamoto. And if it really comes down to it, I can use my piles of money to convince him. You're not quite as uh, miserly as a miserly This is why I hate rich people. <laughs> it's fair. All right then, let's go to the castle. Uh oh. That's probably not good. <gasps> the castle. It. She said eek. Oh my god. <laughs> you traveled through space i smelled you right away what uh, ow what are you doing here who mm -hmm. i missed you that's why i came to see you duh and now you're gonna give Ow a nice big hug right Ow loves you so much dad oh uh, okay what? Gee, you're a father? How did he go through space? What a shocking twist! Uh. Fuji is a father of a little girl! <laughs> Dad, aren't you gonna give Ow a hug? Oh boy. You've got it all wrong! She's... A shocking what? twist revealed! Fuji is actually 99,999,999 years old. He's been married countless times. He's great at maintaining his youthful looks. Drop the secrets of your skincare routine. Don't start making stuff up. You're going to confuse people. No one's going to know what's real and what's a joke. True. People keep showing up, claiming to be his children. A fierce battle royale for the position of eldest son is heating up. What? I, you can't, you can't fight, fight to be, to be the, the eldest son. son. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, you, that's not a battle that you can have. What? Everyone will live together under a single roof as one big happy family. Bernice. What did I decide? Next time on Collapse Dad, final episode, Home Wrecked. Get excited. <laughs> Stop lying! I'm always confused by these, but they're Owl funny. Be the reliable eldest daughter. Uh, okay. Then I'll play the caring elderly neighbor. Elderly? Then I'll. Wait. I'm not gonna play along. What about the printies? Come on, man. We gotta have some printies. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll do a new save. Sorry, this is a long episode, but I'm sure people will enjoy it. Despite my uh, my early mistake, getting uh, Fuji killed was not part of the plan. Record update, huh? What? You're a father? You seem fairly young. And you give off a real jobless vibe. Uh, so who'd marry you? Ouch. Can you shut up? I'll explain later, but zip it for now. Ow. Why did you destroy the castle? Sorry, Dad. I only wanted to see you. It just happened to fall apart. I didn't mean to do it, Dad. I'm just a kid. Uh-huh. A kid, huh? You see any other kids accidentally destroying castles? Well, there was at one time at... No, never mind. <laughs> if it means I get to see you... Forget castles. I'd even destroy the world. Maybe don't do that. Maybe I should have beat up the Shogun, too. I'll kick his butt if I see him. I promise. Will that make you happy, Dad? 
Al would even crush the Shogunate for you. <laughs> I'm slightly horrified by her. Stop making me repeat myself, Al. No more destroying towns or castles. Got it? Whoa! I didn't know you had enough of a conscience to feel guilty over that. Who, who said he feels guilty over it? <laughs> Excuse me? What conscience? I'm mad because her dad ends up with the bill for everything she breaks! Ah. Uh... You don't know how many debt collectors have come after me because of her. I'm sick of dodging them. It's fair. That does sound irritating. True. Well, that's weird. Episode two. Shogun stupid. Shogun stupid. Okay, I'm here for it. Fuji, ah, the Dark Assembly, that's what it's called. The Dark Assembly is live. You can fulfill your own request by submitting a variety of proposals. However, the sumo wrestlers will decide. So make sure you prepared some good faith HL, prepared, or have some good faith HL prepared in case you are denied. Please speak to Planair at the reception if you wish to use the Dark Assembly. Huh, Planair's Dark Assembly girl. I guess she's probably been in the Dark Assembly. I want... You didn't unlock the, the cheat shop yet? Come on. I'm sad. Alright, well, that's fine. Anyway, guys and gals, ladies and gents, this has been an overly long and ambitious episode, but I'm here for it. We got through some stuff. We got to meet Ow, I guess, uh, and uh, we've learned that Fuji's a dad and um, what our mission is as far as Perilica and P-Chan is concerned. So... Yeah, lot, lot, lot of stuff going on. A lot of things to learn and figure out. Uh, I'm here for it, though. I, I enjoyed myself, and I'm looking forward to more. Don't forget, guys and gals, back on episode one. Make sure you sign up, and hopefully eventually we uh, get some new people, some new blood in the series. All right, folks, till the very next episode, I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer.